without further ado, here he is. So uh, earlier this week, I reached out to Paulo Costa and I asked him if you'd want to come on before the the rush of uh, fight week. In my opinion, this is the people's main event at uh, UFC 294, October 21st in Abu Dhabi. Uh, and, and we were good to go as of Saturday. Unfortunately, yesterday I found out that he was unable to join and I totally understood. And then today I see the news regarding his elbow, and I thought maybe that that's why he couldn't join us. And then I get news in the middle of the show that he is, in fact, going to join us. And so what a nice surprise this is. Is he there? Paulo Costa, a.k.a. Bohashini, is he there? There he is alongside Captain Eric. Hello, guys. How are you? What a nice surprise. It's uh, it's very good to be here, bro. Thank you for inviting Yes, Unfortunately, uh, something happened since there. I... That I talked to you, I told you I, I'm gonna be in the show, but but we are here uh, anyway. Thank you, thank you for for the opportunity, thank you for the space here. It's important just to clarify and uh, to make the the, the fans uh, to to bring a, a update update for for the fans. Okay, I yeah. really appreciate it, and good to see you as always, Captain Eric. And so I see that your arm is uh, is bandaged, your your elbow there, Paulo. Can you tell us uh, h- how are you feeling? And are you fighting on October 21st? Yes, definitely yes. Definitely yes. I, I came to Abu Dhabi uh, four, week, th- four weeks before, four weeks ago. I came here early on this hostile, hostile uh, country environment, you know, but I came here to, to, to take over. I don't, I don't came here to, to key in and to joke, you know. Uh, I left my country. I had a I had an injury in, in, yet in my country in Brazil, uh, but we did the, the, the small protocol medical protocols in Brazil, but we didn't know was necessary as a uh, surgery, you know, a big intervention. So I had this injury two weeks before I came here, but uh, we are care about that and uh, make sure to not get worse. But once I get here and I start to train hard, the the, the bad things happen, and so I need to come to I, I need to I need I need to went to, to to the hospital and doctor say, Paul, unfortunately, it's necessary to open your arm, you know, and uh, because it's if is inflammation uh, big inflammation and infection inside your your elbow. So yes, I, I can put this all out. I think I can put it out. If, sure. If you want to. See. Yes. Be... Yeah. Oh, just a second. Okay. Here he is. Uh, he's taking off the bandage. Coming off. I know. Hmm. Just don't hurt him. The shirt is coming. Okay. Oh, you don't want me to do the rampage. Yes. Okay. There it is. There's the bandage. Not not big, but yeah, I, I need to cover this because uh, the doctor asked me to cover, but they made that 10 uh, sutures here. It's, it's a, it's a yeah. big good. I don't know if you have a picture. I, I post in my yeah. Instagram. We saw it, yeah. We have it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, wh- when when doctor told me it was necessary to open, I was with my team, Eric, and Tamaya, everybody was there, and uh, I, I just asked doctors uh, how how long it uh, would take to, to remove these stitches. They say, Okay, we are five weeks to the fight right now, and uh, you need to stay with stitches in your your elbow for two weeks. So after two weeks, we're gonna remove that, and we will left two weeks for you train. I say that's good. That's good news. That's enough. You know, two weeks is enough to train, and and uh, because I'm in shape, I'm ready. I came ready to to this fight. I'm following this guy to fight. Uh, go match a chain a long time ago. You know that I was in your show. Yes. When I, when I was talking about him, and I'm chasing this guy, and I know he want one excuse to get out of this fight. He doesn't want that fight. I want this fight so bad, and I will not let him go easily. So I just asked for the please let keep me in the fight. You know, I I, I always I even uh, ask him to not. Uh, let the UFC knows, but was not possible. So they report everything to the UFC, 
and I'd like to say thank you FC as well for for keeping me keep me in this fight because bro I truly believe uh, in hundred times I I can beat him like nine nine percent I I have all the tools to beat this motherfucker you know he's like a bro wrestler he has nothing to me he has big head long arms slim boy. He he will he will he will do nothing against me. I will defend his first takedown and I gonna I gonna knock him out. So I want this fight so bad. That's why I'm I'm still in this fight. I ha- I did a surgery, but I doesn't care. I gonna be there anyway. These guys need to, you know, he need to run too much to escape from me. I'm here to beat him, and. Uh, yeah, the only way to not fight him if doctors, you know, drag me out, screaming, kicking me, you know, and not, not allow me go go inside the cage because I came to fight him and I truly believe I'm gonna beat him. And, you know, doesn't doesn't matter. I doesn't care. I'm gonna beat him. So, yes, I I'm in shape. You know, I'm ready. You look fantastic. I'm ready to go. Can I ask what is the injury? What happened? Like what 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 did happen to your elbow? This was a bursa infection in Fleming. Mm. So they need to remove the bursa, the whole bursa. So they open this like that, you know. But I, staff infection as well. Staff infection. It starts, it starts, staff, staff, staff infection. infection. Oh, hello, Tamara. Hello, yeah. thank you. Um, hello. Hello, good to hear from you. Uh, and I know it's very late there, so I really appreciate you guys doing that. I think it's like midnight over there in uh, in Abu Dhabi. So yeah. thank you for doing this. Bro, I'm so focused, Ariel. I'm so focused on this fight, bro. You, you 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 cannot believe you know uh you can see after after a surgery like that i'm still in shape i'm still focused i'm still you know we fight inside secret yeah bro and i'm a secret choice you know secret just hear you better faster and, <laughs> i yes i i have no i have no i have cannot i don't have i don't know how how can i explain this to you but give me fight Give me fight this guy. This is the only thing that I ask uh, doctors and I ask UFC personally. Give let, let, let me fight this guy. Let me fight this guy. Don't 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 pull me out of this fight. And and, and, uh, and Paulo, are they threatening to pull you out? Is that what you're like? Is that why you're saying this? Are you worried that they're going to pull you out? <laughs> they they are just worried about me because I was, I was taking a lot of medicines. You know, since Brazil, I took ten days of antibiotics in Brazil, and here more fourteen days. Before and after surgery, you know, so they are, I'd be worried about my, my, my health. Okay. You know, it's about that, but I, I just. Sparring's been great. Yes. I'm sparring, I'm doing everything, coach. Coach, so can I ask you, I was actually going to say something, ask you, um, as his coach, obviously Paulo is very uh, confident, but as his coach, as someone who's been with him for so long, do you feel okay given his, his situation with his elbow? With him fighting in less than two weeks against Hamza Chemaev, I can tell you he's been looking great. You know, uh, even when he had stitches, he was training. He just wasn't using the right arm. Once the chick, once the stitches came out, right back in the sparring, it was looked awesome. I brought some of the best guys in the world: Kazakhstan, Mongolia, Kyrgyzstan. I traveled around the world after Japan to find these partners, Olympic wrestlers, everything. Who is Ben Barna? Ben Barna keeps sending me Venmo's. Oh. (laughs) Your thing. Yes. Still still hooking you uh, up? (laughs) He's still hooking you up. Hey, hey, by the way, I'd like to, you know, uh, pray for Israel. I know this is, they're going hard. Uh, I mean, I I know what's going on. Oh, yeah. It's insane. And, uh, but as far as, uh, we've been in Abu Dhabi for a month, and this is the biggest fight in the history of the UAE. And let me tell you, I tried to take the high ground because Dominic Cruz, as you know, Al Jermaine brought it up on your show, confronted me about hyping up fights for my fighters. But Hamza has stepped over the line by DMing Paulo's manager and future wife about Israel's vulgar act against, against Paulo. And I disapprove 100%. And he has awakened the Paul Heyman in, in the captain. And let me tell Team Hamza, you're this fighting is personal. This is personal, personal right now. You're fighting a different type of beast incarnate to be saying things like that. 
And now at UFC 294, you shall be beaten, victimized, and conquered by Paulo Costa. And the only logical reason he's still undefeated is because he's decided to not show up the skills against Nate Diaz. Yes, we came to enemy territory. Yes, we came to train in your country. We trained at your new gym, the Khabib gym. And Paulo is going to beat you in Ed Etihad Arena that your king owns. This isn't the first time that Paulo's been thrown to the wolves. The UFC threw him to Johnny Hendrick, former UFC champ and NCAA Division I champion. They threw him against the Olympic silver medalist and, and world champion Yoel Romero. He fought the former UFC champion in Rockhold. And every time they threw him to the wolves, he's become leader of the pack. So even with one arm behind his back, it's not Paulo locked in the cage with the wolf. It's Hamza the wolf that's locked in the cage with Paulo. And I, I'd like to say congratulations on becoming a UAE citizen, leaving the beautiful country of Sweden, the homeland of Chechnya. We see him living large. He, they stayed at our same hotel. They pulled up in Jeep classes. They pulled up in Escalades. Well, I hope that their people bought him a private jet because I have a proposal. Okay. Winner of the UFC 294 fights for the middleweight title, and the loser leaves the UAE forever. Everything he said goes against the peace and hospitality of the UAE. Every tweet, every statement, every DM, every attempt to sabotage Team Costa here. And it's like adding lava to a dormant mountain and getting hotter and hotter and exploding and the red hot lava blowing down the mountain, destroying everything in its path. All the Hamza fans, all the Paulo haters. It, it's, uh, but let me digress. I love that. This is, this is good. This is good. This is, so I, you, I, I want to go back to something that you just said. Um, so I saw your tweet about this, Paulo. Did Hamza, did he DM your your girlfriend, your future wife, and uh, and and what did, could you tell us what he said, and and why has this crossed the line in your opinion? Yes, because what my my wife has in in common with this, you know, this is me and against him. What they are try affect me by her. This is a uh, very low, you know, something that I. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm 100% sure the the Muslims guys does a uh, concern about that. They don't 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 agree with that. You know, this is a they does approve that for sure. And uh, this is a yeah, this is how I am. Mm. By the way, uh, the big the biggest part of that statement was: Are you married? Do you call tomorrow your wife? Did you guys get married? Did I miss something? What's happening? Future, right? Oh, future. Okay, I mean, sorry. Oh, I got so excited. I, got to... I wanted to yes. say Mazel Tov. No. Yeah. No. Okay. But but it, it it's only shows how scared he he is he is you know he was uh, try affecting me uh, send message for for Tamar. He, he didn't send nothing uh, sexual or kind of stuff like that. But you know. Yeah. Tamar. Want to say something? Oh, Tamara. Hey, Ariel. Hello, Tamara. How are you? Hello. Come in the shot. Come in the shot. Have, have a seat. Have a seat. Okay, Don't... Just, just, just very quickly. Maybe he showed text me before the fight. So maybe that fight cannot happen before. So because I fight for the fight. So like a manager. So why he didn't text me before? Mm. Because right now he needs to handle with this fight. Because probably you're going to fight without one, ma without one arm if needed. Okay. This is tremendous. Handle, Rando, like a uh, leader. Handle. Handle, yeah. Handle, yeah. yes. Handle. yes. Handle. Yeah, and, and, and so can I ask you, just to, just to try to be as clear as possible, this could be for anyone in the room, do, are you coming on the show now to tell the world that they're trying to remove you from the fight and you want to fight, or are you coming on the show to tell the world, nothing no. to worry about, you're in, this fight is happening on October 21st? Yes, I, I just came to, to, to add the fans. Uh, no, I'm ready to fight and uh, not ask UFC nothing, you know. Uh, UFC is doing their job uh, very good, very good job. They are supporting me a lot. They didn't uh, mention it that to remove me from this fight, you know, nothing about this. I just came for, for the fans and for, yes, I, I know you have a big audience and so it's important to 
uh, reach everyone, every single one from from your show. So I came here and, okay. and I'm so great. And could I ask, why did you make this public? Why did you tell the world about this injury? Why didn't you just keep it to yourself? Actually, actually, who made this public was Renzo Gracie. Renzo Gracie mentioned that in Brazil. I don't know if you if you guys know about that, but mentioned that in interview in Brazil, and uh, the, the people was asking me about. But I just came to say I'm good. You know, I did a surgery, but I'm good, and I I will fight him anyway. Okay, I'm I'm ready. And uh, for for either you or Captain Eric, um, what what you said it was hostile at the hotel that you you saw them there and whatnot. Did you ever run into him? Did you see him at the hotel? Were there any interactions? Uh, we were in the lobby together. We were outside in the parking lot. They were in the out lobby. I I mean tensions were high because, I mean the last time they saw each other at the UFC PI, you guys saw what almost went down. You know, the whole world saw that. 10 million people saw that video. So, uh, you know, with the biggest fight in UAE history going down uh, in two weeks, we what is the reason why three weeks ago we're staying at a hotel with no security? And, and you know, after that happened, people started calling us in the middle of the night, waking us up. So there's just been some uh some sabotaging going on on his end uh trying to keep us with the jet lag uh but it's not going to work because this time we came out super early to write what was wrong what happened last time we came out here to abu dhabi okay. so you know, secret juice cost and now he's cold he's calculated he's recalibrated he's reformulated and he's smarter than ever he's about love and he's about breaking the hearts and faces of all the fans, of Hamza fans, and, and this time in Abu Dhabi, we're, we're getting that title shot. Uh, and stay tuned. And, and Hamza, he could sell his soul and, and go haram, but his winning streak will be erased by the BLF, Mr. Secret Juice, the eraser, Paolo Bohashinha Costa. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, hey, oh, sorry. I need to go. I need to go. Okay. Rise. It's so late. Yes, yes, yes. Can so I ask I one last question? One final question. Have you been told that if you win on October twenty first, you're getting a title shot? Yes, I, 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 I truly believe. I hardly believe in that. Okay. Uh, much love to you, pa- Paulo. I, I hope everything goes okay. Hope to see you October twenty first. Thank, Thank you, you, Captain Eric. Thank you, Paulo. Thank, Thank you, you Tamara. All the best. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.